vegetarians are ready, right? How many non-vegetarians? I want to see. Uh, I'd have to do this thing. <laughs> that's how we'll do. That's how we'll do it. That's how it's done. Uh, so like, uh, it's called targeting your audience. What? Yeah, we'll vote on clones. Yeah. It's called um, Naked Brunch. <laughs> naked Brunch. Naked Lunch. Naked Hunch. Naked Crunch. Rah! God made a mistake. God made a mistake. A sirloin steak. God made a nice steak. And the Lord God gave man, not woman, to have dominion over all the fish in the cans, the foul air, and all crawling things. <laughs> Eat up your snake or I'll slap you in the mouth. Eat up your toes or I'll smack you in the mouth. Eat up your snails or I'll slash you in the mouth. Eat up your roaches or I'll smash you in the mouth. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Naked brunch, naked lunch, naked hunch, hunya, hunya, hunya. Naked crunch. Rah. When a man kills a tiger, he calls it sport. When a tiger kills a man, he calls it beast. Rah! Ferocity. Little lamb, who ate thee? Did the man who planted orchards eat thee? Red in tooth and claw, white of heart and ruth, I ate the dairy man, red of claw and tooth. Daisy, Daisy, give me your dollars due. How you gonna keep them down on the farm after they once range free? Cage them in a factory and don't let them move. You'll earn a much tidier fee. Indiana, Montana, I am but your crops. Now it's down in New York City, I hang in your shops. I'm fur for your ladies, I meet for your kids. Once I breathe like you did, but you broke all my ribs. Once I walk. God's green earth till you roasted my ribs. Naked brunch, naked lunch, naked hunch. Mm, 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 mm. Naked brunch. Cat for the cats. This is a. Uh, What's the series here? Great well, moments. It's, it's really it's but in it's, the history of it's for Christmas because this is a very special. It's the cat's adventure video, and your cat can watch. Can we focus in now on the uh, type? Yeah, because it lets your cat have sounds of the great outdoors, and he be watching various birds and um, enjoying the idea of. Uh, clawing them to death and eating them. And and if you leave your cat home alone, oh, the Cat Home Alone movie, have you seen that? Uh, just just take everything, uh, you know, take your other, watch, your, and don't let your birds out of the cage is what I would say. And Or perhaps don't bite them in the first place, cage them up in the first place. Yeah. And I think, uh, no, I, I think I'd sell, I don't think this is, I don't think you could print this ad now, but it's a great, it was a great, one of the great successful ads. I think it won some awards. So, uh, um,
You know, it's not a good idea to kill your wife at, at Christmas or at any or other. Or a gun. Or, or, to, uh, or now, any other day. For now, me. here's another wonderful... Uh, this is how to grow... Uh, this is a tip on how to grow, save money by growing your own vegetables. Um, this came out of the New York Observer Special Christmas Supplement. And this is uh, Henry Beckwarren's hand-stitched leather garden tool set. Features aluminum-based tools with leather details. It's only $15.50 at Bon... Oh, I'm sorry. It's... Uh, oh, it's $1,550 at Bonnie's. Oh hey, my God! Uh, that and ten bucks will get you a cappuccino almost anywhere. Fifteen hundred and fifty dollars. I think you could used to be able to buy a house, but, but no. Sure. You could buy. Uh, you could lock your starter with that. I mean, stock your larder. But I think it's the leather part because they have to kill a whole cow for each of those. Uh, these Before are not, you could get a wife for a cow. This is not a shovel. As you see, here's the. That's not the exact size. I think it's a remarkable gift, though. Yeah, because each of those tools are guaranteed worth at least five dollars each. Yeah, but they're alum uh, they're aluminum based. Right. Don't you? Uh, and, and they're based uh, in aluminum. Now, for That's those of you, of Cuba, right? for those of, for those of you who have everything, you could uh, right. you could go on a trip to Europe. Like here's the old bucks abroad, and they're at the Cafe Ritz. Greetings, Monsieur et Madame. You, can you read that, Lenny, in a French? Greetings, Monsieur et Madame. We will say to be farting or non-farting. Or as they say in France, pit. They used to pit or non-pit. And um, I think pit makes here, it more here. phonetic than fart. Bart sounds nicer. Pet. Pet. Yeah. Sort of what? A soft one. And, here, and, here, and here's, a, a, uh, here's a, a nice idea for uh, hip, cool kids. Uh, it says uh, pre presence, tensing, and payment. Presence of mind. Assholes come to mind. Imagine having a kid, having a kid uh, put a body part. They may, at least they should do other body parts that are more, uh, more sexy. You know that word. And pin the dick for the under child the child who has right? everything. You get a, pre a picture of uh, Clinton or Bush or one of those guys, and you have him pin the dick on a prick. Dick on a prick. Oh. Um, this is for people who want it. Yeah. Give someone a piercing gift. You see, you pierce it, you put it in one ear and it comes out the other, a metal plate. That's a real kind of pierce. And uh, your government would like your support. The, well, the Japanese, let's see. This is Japan's new FSX fighter and the Shinto priests are performing an elaborate purification rite for the safety, for safety. Um, whose safety I wonder they're talking about? Oh, 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 it's, it's for the safety of their guys, or your guys, not the other. And they're only going to cost a uh, hundred million dollars each. Well, it's according to those Japanese, guys on our side. Well, I think uh, the Japanese uh, are going to sell it for export, maybe, to the U.S. But uh, they don't want to buy any of our airplanes. Or, or maybe no, no uh, wait our I think they, they don't want to buy it. any of their airplanes. They want to you sell know. it to South Asia probably, you know, so they can kill each other off and won't be such a hard job next time. Oh no, it won't don't be so uh and I so they won't have that much competition, you mean? In uh from Korea and uh Malaysia. And China. There was once, you know, they're trying to get and the cheaper Philippines. and cheaper labor, they're emigrating all over. I suggest two other places could be cemeteries where the people could work for nothing. Yeah. If they could make them move a little. All right, or, technology's great. They'll come up with something. 
Apes, they were once, someone once thought you might uh, teach chimpanzees to work an assembly line. I think that's better to, than being cut up for medical experiments. Yeah, a whole different thing with a cut up, right? Means to the chimps. Chimps and the beagles. So, um, let's see, that there are some more. Oh, yeah, yeah, there are some more gifts here. Oh, good. Uh, there's the, we should never forget. Are you for the, sure there are more gifts? Yeah, for the religious in your family, uh, there's the holy water font. And this is the little baby Jesus there with the Madonna. See, it says holy water font, and it's leak proof. Hey, you can't leak on that one, right? No, that's a good one. And how many of you remember uh, Pew Ball? Many years. Who will protect us from our protectors? Who shall judge our police? Who will redirect our directors and who release our release? Who will police our judges and who will will our will? He who chooses his slavery is he a slave still? Out of paradoxes, man creates his world. He cannot clean his socks and says, the world is soiled. We are only playboys in the house of the dead. Very few poems get written. Few are still get read. Who will police our judges? And who will will our will? He who chooses his slavery, is he a slave still? Inside out. We gotta watch where we are. We gotta watch them. Before they kill us. Can't take no chances. I mean, even them kids are liable to grow up and be commies, right? If it's gotta be a bloodbath, let it be a bloodbath. What I say is, kill for peace. That's the slogan. Just kill for peace. The more students we get rid of, the more peaceful everything will be. This is about education. Uh, whenever I hear that the government is going to give another hundred million dollars to education, I shudder to think how much trouble, how much, how many lies are going to be infested, infected into our younger generation. Because you see, we people who want change, we're in, we're bound in a um, vicious circle. If everyone was educated, by the way, school is compulsory and children are prisoners in school. They have no rights when they're in school. They have to go whether they want to or not. Is that what you call freedom? 
And there are other ways to educate people besides locking them up in, a, in a, like sending them to work five days a week. But there's also a huge educational establishment that lives off this money now. So if you want to radically change education, you're going to run into big trouble. So um, this is called School Days, D-A-Z-E, to the tune of School Days, D-A-Y-S. And there's a quote for, from Mark Arnold, most of our schools are just a prison for our children. Uh, let's see, uh, let me read this, just six years. Oh, here's a, let me show you the picture. And it says, uh, can we focus in on the uh, photo? It says, uh, the, the caption says, school windows target of stone throwers. School windows shatter under the stone throwing assault of 10 children at East Alton, Illinois. The school has been replaced and school officials gave the children permission to attack the building before the wrecking crews came. <laughs> okay. School days, school days, that's D-A-Z-E. Boreas, Boreas, brazen fool days, rich lies, patriotism, and how to ask slick Taught by a sadist with a hickory stick. School days, school days. Good training for future wage slaves. Ready to die for slavery. Forbid any dropping out bravery. You know, they actually send cops around to... Uh, Check up if they find a kid in the street, boy, they're in deep trouble. And kids with supposed ADD, that's attention deficit disease, right? Kids with supposed ADDD, but teachers have de their defects too, are we? Try giving the teachers the rip to learn. Then after that, perhaps we can again begin. Some, I would suspect most, if not all of these kids who are bored and who don't want to pay attention are really just bored. I think kids can, learn, can be taught to read in a few weeks but once they want to learn how to read. Okay, that takes care of uh, that segment of society. <clears throat>